Hi guys, it's for you tutorial showing you how to get Parallels 5 for free. Please subscribe. Now to start off, obviously you need to download the files. I'll put the links in the description. These Dropbox links right here. Now um, this file is um, actually not very necessary. It's just uh, more more uh, serial keys, just in case the ones that are in the zip file doesn't work. So once you download the zip file, which is about 219 megabytes, what you have to do is unzip it. Once you have unzipped the Parallels 5 folder, you'll get two files, one a RTF file and one a DMG. So what you need to do is open the DMG, click, double click on install, open install current this is very important you must not download a new install new version because then the serial key is not going to work so install current and go no install current then go continue then just you know how to install just go continue continue agree install type in your password Once the installation is done, just go close, close out of that, and open the parallel RTF file. Uh, this one will just have one serial key and it should work. If this one doesn't work, there, uh, use the other one that you downloaded. So now to start up parallels, what you need to do is go to Spotlight and type in parallels. Now um, once you get parallels desktop, open that and this should come up. Now um, if you're installing from a DVD obviously go for the installation CD DVD and if you have a bootcamp partition click on bootcamp. I have bootcamp so I'll be doing that option. Then click continue then name it whatever you want then uh, create you can change the folders up if you want. Once that's done just uh, go done and uh, all should be ready. Now uh, copy this key, click on whatever you named it, okay, doesn't matter what it says, then your version should be opening up. I'll just skip this bit. Alright, so now um, I, I faced this problem where I had to press control alt delete, but I couldn't. So what I did was just click here and then you'll get a keyboard, click that and you'll have the option of control alt delete and that should work out. Also I don't think um, I'm going to be asked for the serial key because I have entered it before already. So whenever it asks just use that, uh, use this one, copy and paste it and it should work fine. So thanks guys for watching my tutorial and uh, please subscribe.